hey everyone and welcome back to our channel in today's video we are going to show you how to add a filter in a dashboard let's begin now the first thing that you need to do is to log in using your credentials if this is your first time in salesforce i want you to click the sign up option and from here just follow the on-screen instructions and you're good to go to add a filter in a salesforce dashboard you can use the dashboard filters feature this allows you to create a more interactive dashboard experience letting users filter data based on certain criteria like dates regions or even custom fields now once you're logged into your account make sure you log in as an admin or user with permissions to create or even edit dashboards I want you to hover to the upper right, upper left corner. There's going to be like nine dots. It's grayed out, but if you hover your mouse, they will become colorful circular button beside setup. That is the app launcher. Click on that and type in dashboard. That's going to be under items. I want you to click on it. Now, open the dashboard that you want to add a filter to or click new dashboard to create a new one. For example, I'm going to click on create a new dashboard. And here you can put in the name that you want. For example. You can select the folder that you wanted. Or you can put in on the private dashboards if you want. It's up to you depending on your preferences and goals. Once you click on it, there should be an option here. You see? You can add a widget, for example, a chart or table, All right? See that? Click on select. Now, um, I'm going to be using this one for now. I'm going to click on it. And then there's going to be a filter button here. All right. So now on the filter, you can select field to filter by which is required. For example, is it going to be account owner? Add a filter value. Click on apply, click on add, and this is basically how you add filter in a dashboard here in Salesforce. All right. Once you're happy, all you have to do is click the uh, the uh, save button here and drop the menu. You click on save as, or click on save for you to be able to share it with other people. Now, when I hover back to the uh, dashboard, if you wanted to edit a specific dashboard. I'm going to hover again to this. Click on dashboard. I'm going to choose other dashboard here like executive sponsor. This is a previous dashboard that I have been working with. And I wanted to add a filter on it. Okay. So now I'm going to click on the edit button here. You see the filter button has appeared and all I have to do is do the same thing like earlier. Now, you can put in like account created date, um, account description, industry. All right. So um, click that. Add filter value. Say, for example, chemicals. Apply. Click on add. All right. Again, same thing earlier. Click on save, but ensure that the field you are using for the filter is present in all reports used in the dashboard components. Otherwise, some components might not respond to the filter. All right, these steps will help you create more dynamic and user-friendly dashboards in Salesforce, providing a better user experience and more flexibility when analyzing data. Thank you so much for watching. We will see you again in the next video.